Hey friends, Teacher Saul here. In today's video, we're going to be looking at things that can either sink or float in water. So first we'll see if this sinks or floats, if this acorn sinks or floats, this rubber ball, this fuzzy ball, a plastic ball, and if a rock sink or float. So we're I want you to try to figure out and try to think for yourself and see which ones of these will sink and which ones will float. So as you can see here, there's a bin full of water. And so we'll be using this to test our experiment. First, we're going to start with this big rubber thud ball. I want you to guess, do you think this will sink or float? Let's test it out. Touching the water. And it looks like it's floating. Look, it's not touching the bottom. So this rubber ball is floating. I'll put it right here. On this side, it'll be the float side. This side will be the sink side. Next, we'll use this rubber ball. It's almost like a baseball. Do you think this will sink or will it float? Just think about it. Okay, now let's check on the water right here and it looks like it sunk. It's touching the bottom. So I'll put this one on the sink side. Then next we'll do the acorn. Will it sink or will it float? It's on the water and looks like it's floating. It's moving along there. So we'll put that on the side. Next up got this fuzzy ball. Will it sink or float? It's on the water and looks like it sunk. It's got full of water now. It's almost like a sponge. Put it over here. And then we'll get this plastic ball. It's fairly light. Sink or float? It's floating. Let's move along. Put that over here. Then let's look at this rock. Will this rock sink or will it float? Let's test it out. Sunk straight to the bottom. And there you have it, friends. You can try this experiment for yourself as well at home. Just make sure that the items that you use are waterproof. Thank you for watching, and I'm wishing you well.